Welcome, Guardians of the Multiverse, to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast brought to you by Anchor, where we discuss your favorite shows and movies in pop culture and entertainment and guide you through an infinity of impossibilities. My name is Dylan. I'm with my amazing co host, Akram, and we're breaking down the season finale of Marvel's What If, Episode 9 What If the Watcher Broke His Oath? Fantastic episode. Akram. What an incredible journey this series gave us. Did you think it ended on a high note? What's up, Dylan? Yeah, I think it definitely did. Everything merged, finally, um, as reported in the leaks. Uh, very. It was just such a great spectacle to watch. Um, and everything was so powerful, right? We haven't really seen that in any Marvel film. Um, and it did answer a couple of questions. Uh, character-wise, character development, and some uh, roles have been fulfilled. Um, I can't wait for season two. How about yourself? Definitely. It was definitely a uh, Watchers 11, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a heist movie in the beginning. Um, but yeah, it was a cool setup. Um, I love uh, going back. It, def- it definitely tied up like all the, the episodes together really well, um, bringing back like fan favorite characters uh, that we've seen in the show. Uh, it's cool ca- seeing uh, Captain Carter in a in a Winter Soldier mission, right? When she's on the, the Lumerian Star. So I like that she, she still had to fight... Uh, Batroc, what is that? Is that a name? Batroc, yeah, yeah, yeah. Batroc George Saint Pierre, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even though it was weird, he wasn't speaking French, but <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he only is good at saying grunts and stuff, like, right? <laughs> he only says uh, French for Steve, because you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, great cast of characters. We saw, we finally saw Gamora, uh, the destroyer of Thanos. I thought that was cool. Yeah, and, uh, very different. I guess that, yeah. So I guess that was um cosmic iron man that was with her i'm not sure i know that the scheme kind of looks like uh the suit was uh as if it was cobbled together um but there were some like bright yellows and uh some reds you know or like orangey red stuff um Mm -hmm. i guess so i mean if you want to say yeah i guess i would consider it it's like a kind of like a miniature ice hulk buster almost like igor Mm -hmm. uh suit like just cobbled together um obviously we know he won't survive like later on because there's absolute point you know that where he dies um you weren't chosen (laughs) right i know and and that man i'm so mad because i read those leaks a long time like there was some leaks that they said that oh she's like mad at iron man and apparently like one episode would be about her but no that's not the case uh they definitely Mm -hmm. teamed up for whatever reason she's like burning the infinity gauntlet I, i wonder what's up with that right that was a crazy shot too. That was that was the memory of like a Terminator. Ah, that's so when, funny. Like, yeah. Lowering uh, Arnie <laughs> in the vat. <laughs> I know the Infinity Gauntlet just like puts a thumb up. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like that they made her a, a hero in this one, and that um, they didn't make her like another, I guess like Thanos acolyte. I guess. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Um, very interesting stuff. Um, and and she's so different than the Gamora we know as well, right? So definitely. Yeah, and then uh, seeing T'Challa and and uh, Killmonger together again, it kind of felt like Professor X and like Magneto like reunited. Oh, that's so funny you said that. Yeah, yeah, and that's ch- that. So that this is Chadwick's final time, uh, unfortunately, voicing uh, T'Challa, right? And uh, apparently, they were supposed to. As do... far as we know, apparently, he's been voicing it all this time. Well, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. Well, he was supposed to do a spinoff series, so apparently, it's gonna be uh, uh, T'Challa, Star Lord. Uh, there was gonna be a spinoff series. Uh, it was in oh, the really? works, yeah, but it. I think reports just came of that today, um, but it's been canceled, obviously, because the unfortunate passing of uh, Chadwick mm. Boseman. Yeah, well, um, I'm just wondering what they're gonna do with him in a uh, in the sequel. Um, I don't know if he maybe like recorded some scenes, but um, I doubt it. We'll just have to. Unfortunately, see. it's just gonna be like. I mean, you know, we will really see. Um, also, when the Black Panther, uh, Wakanda Forever film comes out, right? Uh, to see mm-hmm. how they will like uh, fulfill his story, um, we don't know. I mean, at least he's somewhere else, off in the galaxy, right? So you don't really have to uh, speak or mention of him, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Party Thor uh, got his uh, his other debut, I guess. Viva Las Vegas! <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> You know they couldn't say Shazam because of copyright, so they they had to. I know <laughs> they had to come up with something else. But uh, yeah, I didn't mind Thor in this episode. I thought he was kind of a dumbass, but <laughs> yeah, it was it was good fun. Yeah, it was a it was yeah. a great uh, blend of like uh, tones. Right. 
Um, let's see what else. So Doctor Strange, I think, was definitely the MVP of this. Uh, this this uh, well, this series overall, I guess you could say. Yeah, um, absolutely. He was OP as hell. I mean, obviously, right? Um, and he had to defeat himself, right? Um, so very man. Without him, honestly, they wouldn't have won too. Uh, at least in in the earlier moments, right? Um, which I like that also they showed Black Widow's character, right? And that Earth where that's where that universe mm-hmm. where that version of Ultron emerged from, right? Um, she came in clutch and, and she wasn't on the plan. And that just shows you what type of character she really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And it, it just, it's it calls back to Endgame when, uh, when, you know, Nat was the one that really was trying to put the Earth back together when, um, when everybody got snapped. And then she, again, she made the ultimate sacrifice. But at least in this uh, episode, um, you know, she was able to make it out um, and start fresh. I guess so. I'm I'm glad that she got a happy ending in the end. Um, but yeah, de- I definitely thought bringing her back was cool. I, I love the shot of her with um with the bow, and then just be like, "This is for you, Clint." That was that's, that's such beautiful imagery, like her on the motorcycle, like jumping off, and then it was kind of like like a Valkyrie shot um it was like post-apocalyptic but it was so awesome and then uh seeing her like tag team with uh peggy with the two shields that was lit uh that definitely reminded me of like um steven bucky like taking on iron man in civil war i thought that was really cool right perfect she's a perfect amalgamation character because she has guardian shield and and also uh hawkeye which we never really seen her shoot an arrow right before so that was, that was really awesome to see i know mm-hmm. and uh also like they couldn't have well, it makes sense because I feel like I feel like Clint would have trained her somehow. Well, I think she's just a really jack close. of all trades, too. You know, just so much yeah. training like like because she's supposed to be like an assassin. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, also without uh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> Azola. Right. Without Zola. Uh, we got you it. Know? I called I it last episode. I said I, I wish we could have seen him in the stomach with the robot suit. We got it <laughs> finally. Right. In a weird way. But it's there. Yeah. It's so iconic. Great I'm so Easter glad that they threw that in there. I know. And then even uh fucking Killmonger had his his uh, time to shine, right? Yeah, that was crazy. I I expected something, but uh, I didn't expect that. That was crazy. What was he doing with the Ultron head? I think he I was didn't understand that part. He was just scheming. I think he was just looking at it and he says, I think I could do something with this or whatever. And then all of a sudden that's when he went to the actual Ultron and uh did his thing, which is weird because like it's different power, uh uh, from the last suits, right from the from the movie, uh, Black Panther. It's like I didn't expect it to do that, all that, right? Uh, so much nanotech involved there, um, but yeah, and it's cool because it also reminds me. It goes, it, it kind of harkens back to the whole thing about uh, Age of Ultron with uh, Tony, where he wants to, you know, basically have all these robots around uh, guarding the Earth, right? And it's like I think. And he even he mentioned that too in uh in the episode right yeah with with uh Gamora he's like we we need to build a, a suit around the universe I'm like this motherfucker no matter what universe he's in he's trying to start shit yeah I mean and that's cool too because he was in his episode had Tony Stark and so in a way they had like almost like a same philosophy um or at least the mindset right where it's like we're gonna have to do something I mean sounds the Infinity Stones right if he just had the Ultron tech. Um, I'm sure he would have like built his own bots, right? Um, because it's already there. So I'm sure he would have did the same thing that Tony wanted to do. Uh, you know, obviously it'll be more of a dictatorship or something like that. But um, I thought that was really interesting. Everything matched really well. You know, it really it rhymed really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was definitely poetic. Um, how did you feel about the Infinity Stones being, I guess, unique in their own universe? It, it still doesn't make sense to me how. Well, I guess it kind of does. So maybe the Infinity Stones in that universe were just that powerful that they could break um, the multiverse, I guess. But uh, And that's another thing. We didn't see anything like with uh, TVA or Kang or anything. So it's interesting that um, they didn't get involved in this one. Yeah, I'm... I remember you brought up that argument before. Uh, I think the last "What If" review that we did, um, that it was kind of like a, a loophole or or a redcon or something like that. Um, I don't know if that answered that question for you. Um, I felt like, in their way, they tried to like answer that similar question that you had um, with this uh, those pebbles from uh, Petco Infinity Stones because they weren't the same shape. <laughs> um, <laughs> those quartz uh fucking gems yeah yeah you gotta go zales well because apparently they were like holding it like remember like 
in the first Guardians when Peter Quill right. was only the whole be able to hold the Power Stone because he was a fucking Celestial, but when T'Challa or any of these other motherfuckers like hold it, it's just like a regular ass stone. There's like, a lot of loopholes. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's my only uh, continuity error with it. But um, yeah. But I mean, they apparently they were that just they were that powerful that uh, it took all of Doctor Strange like power just to to hold them off. Yeah, that fight was man. That fight was really something. It was. It had me on the edge of my seat. Um, because I was thinking that Doctor Strange would die. And you know what's another cool thing? It's like dealing with the Infinity Stones. No matter what, either you have to lose the battle, or you have to have somebody sacrifice themselves in order to win. Doesn't matter what scenario or universe you're in. That's how powerful they are. And then it just it's more impactful looking at that scene from Loki where they're just paperweights, right? Um, really interesting. Uh, the contrast there. Um, but yeah, I mean that shredder thing that Gamora had, that was weird, but okay. That was cool the, uh, as the well. Infinity stone crusher. Right, right, right. It was like that. That's interesting. Um, I'm mad that Thanos actually didn't join in on the battle with T'Challa. I was just thinking about that right now. Right. That would have been pretty <laughs> fun to see. I know. Yeah. They did a uh, Thanos dirty in this series. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here's to season two. I mean, this, this, uh, episode really, uh, was sweet too, bittersweet for like some characters. Um, like Strange, obviously he still had that sad ending, right? Um, he had to return back to basically that prison that he was in. Uh, well, now so Ultron and Killmonger are inside of a prison, inside of a prison, right? So it's pretty hard to escape from there. Um, but it's still so dangerous because they're basically holding those versions of the Infinity Stones, right? Um, forever. They're like, and I mean, even. Loop. Yeah, and I mean, even Doctor Strange, like, he's still kind of a threat, even though he's kind of, like, uh, worked his shit out. I mean, he's still that powerful that he could destroy an entire universe. So having him be responsible, I mean, it could be kind of like a threat, too. Well, if he um, sneezes, because he'll because let go. Powerful. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he'll let go of everything, yeah. God forbid he goes to the bathroom for, like, five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how he goes to the bathroom there, but, yeah. A plot Under hole. The question. What? If, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's another question. What if Doctor ask. Strange went to the bathroom? <laughs> All hell broke loose. <laughs> uh, I thought it was cool that they they even like found a way to, like bring the the zombies into it. Oh and yeah. And Wanda. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. fucking when she had that moment, I thought she was actually gonna have like a moment where like she was like hesitant because like she saw Vision. Um, but I guess she, uh, she was still zombified, so she didn't really care. But I thought that was just like a, a cool moment. Well, yeah, I thought that too. Um, but obviously, this is Ultron's version, so he wouldn't feel anything for right. her. But I thought, yeah, at least she would feel something for him. Because, um, like, I thought she would snap out of it somehow. Um, mm -hmm. But I even forgot, how did that happen, that that infection too? I actually forgot the episode. How did that happen? Oh, it was Hank Pym. Oh, he brought back something from the quantum yeah, realm. Yeah, he right, went to right, the right, quantum right, verse, right, right, and right. then he got... They should have brought Hank Pym in this bitch. He would have ended Ultron. <laughs> like in Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> you saw how much destruction this motherfucker brought. They should have brought him like first. <laughs> yeah, they they didn't need uh the like, arrow. They just had him. Like if I was playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance, my first pick is Hank. Pym. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hank Pym or Nick Fury. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, uh, it was such a fun episode. Captain Carter too. Um, she definitely had her, her time to shine here. Um, mm -hmm, definitely. I, I like this. The read. It wasn't. Well, yeah, it is a redesign. I did like the Winter Soldier or stealth suit redesign. Um. That was also shown in the mid-season trailer. Um, I hope that she like gets an updated suit. I hope that's not the last that we see of her. Because that end credit has to mean something, right? Um, so the end credit, uh, basically, we see who's back. And it's Steve. But Steve is frozen, right? Inside of the... Again. <laughs> yeah, Hydra Stumper suit. He's... That makes no sense because <laughs> I guess he just went throughout the whole war and then apparently got frozen again. I don't... Well, it just makes sense because... He still is Captain America, right? So he did have to, you know, keep on fighting the the good fight. Or or like it could have been that somehow they got hold of. I don't understand that too because it's the suit. It's not him, right? So unless that suit, well, they said some like he's in there, right? So that's the weird part. I'm like, I don't know. I felt like that was a little bit sloppy. I, it, I think they were trying to pull like a Winter Soldier and be like, oh, we found right. uh, Steve again. Right. And then I guess he's gonna take Bucky's place. Um. But yeah, I thought that was a cool uh, shot. I, I wish we would have had like Kang at the end or something just like to tie it back to Loki. Yeah, that would be cool because I really do feel like Kang is going to, I mentioned this before, I really do feel like Kang is going to be the big bad this time. Instead of Thanos now, it's Kang. 
um, and and he's more active in different series and stuff like that, or just MCU entertainment, right? It's just like he's in maybe uh, animation, and then maybe obviously in a, a TV series, and then later on in a movie, like. Uh, but I guess not. I don't know. Um, that would have been cool, though. That would have been a cool teaser. Like you see him looking off some, like somewhere and he's just like looking right, down yeah. at the watch. In the timeline or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, that's the big bad for season two. And then that's going to combine with something else. I thought that would have been like, like, such a cool lead up. I-, I wonder how like the watcher doesn't know he exists. Like he has to be like out. There. Like if he's that powerful that he has a presence in the multiverse, I'm sure like the watcher has to know that motherfucker exists. I think sometimes it's just like some things are better left unsaid when you're writing something out uh, to not dilute the experience or like to not distract the experience. Because also the pacing here was the pacing at first was like the setup was a little bit fast, but then the rest of it. Yeah, it was definitely rushed. Yeah, the 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 rest was good, though. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, But yeah, uh, I I did like the net kind of like it had a happy ending in the end. Uh, It's just so. Although I'm still mad at the watcher because I'm like I'm like you already intervened by bringing all these these heroes together and you can't bring back Natsy like come on now like you already broke your oath yeah. <laughs> this whole episode was dedicated to you breaking your oath I'm sure you can break it one more time but he did say um, I think there was like a higher power than him oh did he say if he said that then I'm wondering who I I think I think he mentioned something I don't know maybe the other Celestials or or maybe Eternity. I don't know. Ooh, um, yeah, because that was like an Easter egg in uh, Guardians right. 2. Right. So uh, we'll just have to see. But but yeah, I, I did like that uh, the Nat was able to find a home. And that was the uh, the universe where um, Hank Pym offed everybody. <laughs> right, I know. So they should have just got Hank Pym. <laughs> right. But that was cool that uh, she was able to reunite with uh, Nick Fury one more time. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like seeing uh, Captain America back in that first, or not the first Avengers suit. The, I know, because we haven't seen him in like, well, maybe like the first episode or like the zombies episode, but that wasn't really Steve, right? Like like as Captain America. So this is like the first time we've actually seen him in uniform and, fighting, right? And in the Avengers suit too, Avengers 1. So right. I just like seeing that back. Um, That was pretty decent uh, to see. Um, And in Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel got a lot of screen time in this series. She did, too. yeah. So yeah, I always forget about Captain Marvel, and then they just always bring her back at appropriate moments. So I think that was cool. Yeah. Um, for sure. But what did you think? Um, like overall of this series, like, did you have any like favorite episodes or favorite moments? Well, as the series in a whole, I feel like um, it's a, it's hit or miss. Uh, some episodes like it's very easy to name from like one to nine uh which are my favorite episodes and i was hoping that it wouldn't be that easy to name them i hope i was hoping everything just like was like you know up there in the ranks with like a great tv and i I don't know it was obviously they had to compensate for children and then obviously for timing um how much can you do right um but all in all they did accomplish a good amount of things i felt like the events that took place here were really important um obviously ultron would have came to the main mcu and he would have uh, screwed everything up, right? So this was really important to watch, uh, same as Loki. Um, but my, I'd say probably my favorite episode would be the T'Challa uh, Star-Lord, num- my number one at least. Um, Definitely a good episode. Mm-hmm. And, but then like the rest, like the like I guess just for, oh, probably the Doctor Strange. I really enjoyed that one, uh, Doctor Strange. But like then again, there's like the ones, like Party Thor had like awesome fights too, you know? And it's like, it's not my favorite, but it's just, it has awesome fights. So there's definitely great episodes that are my favorites, but there's great moments that you could like hand pick. Um, and I guess that's a plus too. Dis- that's, I guess that's a Disney plus too. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, how about yourself? Yeah, I agree with you. There's definitely hidden misses. Um, uh, it, I don't know. It, it started off weird for me, but then it kind of like picked up and uh, I kind of appreciate it more as the series went on. Um, as far as favorite episodes, my, I definitely agree that T'Challa episode was like, um, definitely the standalone, uh, or like the best of the series. Um, but I also did enjoy the, uh, the Nick Fury episode, um, cause it, it was kind of like a detective mystery. So I did like that aspect of it. Um, Dr. Strange too was cool. Um, and, uh, Killmonger I think was really cool too. Uh, definitely showed, uh, more of his, um, you know, uh, his prowess, I guess, as a villain. So seeing him be able to, you know, devise that plan, and then you know, because he he got really he got away with a lot of shit, and then, he <laughs> and he almost like 
he i mean he technically still got away with it in this episode because right. he like vanished right when they were about to, to arrest him um but yeah i think overall this series uh, it was all right i mean for our first season um you know they were definitely like playing around with ideas and they're, they're only limited to the mcu obviously for this show um because obviously they would you know there's a lot more they could do with like the x-men or um uh, fantastic four or whatever but uh Surprised they only like brought in Spider Man for like one episode. I wish they would have brought him in for more stuff, but uh, I guess that's maybe a, a Sony thing. Um, but yeah, I did uh, enjoy the um, the series uh, as a whole. Yeah, for sure. I, I was hoping that that Killmonger would say, "Where do you think these uh, Infinity Stones came from?" No, nah, that's from Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just love when he says a speech. <laughs> Right, <laughs> he like tells the truth to everybody. It's like like kind of passive aggressive. Like, and what about you, Peggy? Uh, or what about you, Captain? Don't you want to be he's, your man? He sees the Watcher, and he is like, "Man, you sitting up here comfortable?" <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like he could, the guy could must grind. be nice. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he sees uh, T'Challa. He's like, "Hey, cousin." <laughs> <laughs> I know. I want to see more dialogue between them, man. Hmm. But yeah, great, yeah. great. Uh, I I would say it's uh definitely a fascinating sight to see for the series, uh, especially for season one. Finally, I never thought that we would get something like this, and especially to be canon, right? Um, really yeah, exciting. Definitely. I I can't wait for season two that I know it's confirmed, and I can't wait to see you know people like Shang Chi, um, you know that film or whatever's coming out, the Eternals, which is gonna be something. Um, um. So yeah, I just can't wait to see more. Or, into the multiverse right what's that going to be about right um so yeah yeah they definitely they they made good use of like characters from you know all fuck what is it 20 movies now <laughs> i lost track but um yeah every every character had their time to shine even like the forgettable ones um that you probably couldn't remember from the old, older movies but um yeah i'm excited to see what season two brings um you know we got a lot more marvel coming out right i think kevin probably planned this shit for the next 30 years at least <laughs> yeah so we'll just have to see but yeah ponder the question what if <laughs> well uh that about wraps up our discussion of episode nine and the series um and then concludes our first season of our podcast. Hey. So, hey. <laughs> it's been a long journey. Uh, pretty, uh, right. uh, excuse my French, a fucked up journey. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, it's, it's basically like, what if, right? So <laughs> what if... Uh, <laughs> Ponder the question, what if we got a season two? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm excited to, uh, for what's to come. I think you guys will be too. Or at least the five subscribers that are uh, currently <laughs> following us. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> The five subscribers is just the the team that we got together. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they were, we were like, you were chosen, <laughs> and you were chosen <laughs> for sure. But yeah, yeah, we definitely got some major improvements coming for season two, guys. So if you're not uh, following us already, make sure you do, and uh, follow us on our YouTube channel. Uh, as well as our anchor and Spotify, so you can see our ugly mugs next episode. Oh boy, we're sorry. <laughs> and <laughs> I hope uh, they don't they don't turn to stone, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and if you want to know more about us, you can follow us on our social media accounts, which are tagged in the description at the end of this video. Also, um, so with that, I would just like to say uh, thank you for having lunch with us, guys. Thank you, guys. See you, chum. <laughs> <laughs> The series, but you should have said series finale of the Lunch Table Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> then I knew with the Soprano song. <laughs> I, like I'm holding your pinky like this. <gasps> Woke up oh, this boy. morning, <laughs> got myself a gun. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>